Hello everyone, this is General Little, and welcome back to another Let's Play Shogun 2 Total War. So it is now 1564, the last time we left off, I think we were at the winter of 1559 when we had already united all of Japan. And so since then, we've been preparing our armies and our naval, naval fleet to invade the Chosun Dynasty. So here you can see I have amassed all of our generals here. We have Akechi Toshikane, Takayama Muneyori, Takigawa Yoshitaka, Toyotomi Hidenaga, Uda Nobuhide, Takigawa Sunisuke, and last but not least, Oda Nobunaga, son and heir to the throne. And we also have a bunch of other armies here that you can see. Cavalry units, more cavalry, samurai, archers, bunch of Ashigaru units here, some monks, matchlocks, more matchlocks, and katana samurai. So we have taken the show we are we are we are basically now Shogun. Legendary fame. We own 160 provinces. We are missing one province, 28 out of 29. So, kind of need to find that before the year 1600. Let's take a look at the family tree. We have the daimyo here. Lots of honor. Total of eight, maximum of six. This guy already has a ton of loyalty. And then the rest of the family tree here. Oda Nobunaga has tons of ears and we also have the generals here. You can see that they're getting older, 48, 46, 51, 40, 48. And let's just take a look back at all the things that we've accomplished so far. So we're at turn 229. We've only lost 12 provinces, captured 159, 385 total battles so far, 357 victories, and 5 heroic victories, 347 land battles, well victories, wait 347 out of 367 land battles that we won, some naval battles that we didn't do too well in, all the units that we've recruited, looks like 1593 units total, 44 cavalry, 1549 infantry and 0 siege units recruited, we only lost 379, units destroyed 349, 4, and I'll let you guys look through this on a screen pause or something to that effect. But this is more or less what we've accomplished over three seasons and 229 turns. We've earned a whole bunch of money as well. And there's no commas here, but let's take a look. 13 billion Koku earned. Wow. We made a lot of money from trade as well. Looks like two million, well, two million earned from trade, and we spent a lot of money as well. Highest income per turn was one hundred and fifty-six thousand koku. Okay, so since we've amassed this army, we haven't really engaged with the Chosun at all. The Chosun Dynasty—they have their navy here. We've also. Re recruited and upgraded some units. So we now have the Heavy Bune or Heavy Boon. We still have the Bokuboyas and I believe we also have the Cannon Boon somewhere in this fleet. Ah, here we go. Cannon Boon. But let's, let's get started as we do need to start invading the Chosun Dynasty and subjugate them after they murdered our one of our sons so going to dock everyone just wanted to show you guys the army that had masked and now we're going to have to get everyone on board i think we can only board one at a time so let's hope we have enough fleets for that Get these guys all in. Okay, 
Uh-oh, okay. There is enough space. Excellent. So we have... Nobunagi here. Along with Takigawa. Okay, you have to walk around. Also we have a particularly small seat here. But that's fine, we'll just walk in. And we we'll also have to get these other... Armies in there as well. We have a ton of cavalry units, which isn't something we're used to, but for this invasion, I made sure that we got some diversity in the units that we were using. And apparently, there's no space to dock. I have this guy dock here. Okay, path is being blocked. I'm gonna move this ship out of here. Yeah, it doesn't have no more movement points. So once we once we got everyone in, there's no way we can move. But that should be fine. For some reason, these guys can't dock. Huh. That is very strange. Well, we can grab those guys later. Not a huge deal. But for now, we will end our turn. Yes, that's what we'll do. So, since there's only one faction, we don't need to do any editing of the turns in between. Even the most oh, and look! Heavily fortified Fire projecting monks. It's no match for these flaming balls. When kept at range, these projectiles are incredibly effective. So, our first siege weapons have also been created. We have a ton of castles, and we also got Powder Master, so we can build these things. I believe they were built up oh, right here. Got some Oda matchlock as well and a ton of samurai units. In fact I'll just take this whole army out and we will use it as another invasion force. So I guess this one will take a little bit more precedent than the other four armies. And we'll have them travel out. This army over here. Okay, so I'm just gonna move these armies out. So we can give these guys some space to dock. So we are getting our navy ready to invade the chosen peninsula. Come on down, gentlemen. Get on your boat. Oh, for some reason we could move that time. Oh well, no matter. Get these guys in the dock. I guess I just have these guys in here. These re yeah, remaining two armies. Okay, so let us lead the charge. Into enemy territory. So our fleet marches or sails north in this case. Okay, so these guys are not in a good spot. There we go. Wanna stay out of the attrition zone. And these guys are in a terrible spot. Oops. 
Okay. And out of, out of space. Or out of movement points. Looks like we are being surrounded by the Chosun Navy here. But we'll ignore it for now and end our turn here. So, only four factions this left. This ship carries many musketeers and can be used to board enemy vessels. It is strong, but slow and can be sunk by cannon fire. Okay, so we also got an you know, Otake Bune here. So we'll throw these guys in here. Much smaller fleet, but that's okay. And we also have some additional ships here. Have them come over here. And we're gonna recruit some additional ships. Red Seal ships are trading ships. Siege Tower Boon. Let's get some Siege Tower Boons. They're not as effective, but better than nothing, I suppose. Get some heavy boons here. And we'll load our last army into this navy. And we'll sail for the north. And group up. Okay. First army led by the monks. Gyo Hyun. So we'll land our first force in here. Against the Chosan. Korean Levy Spearmen. Shall we fight this first battle? Let's do it! Because we've never fought the Chosun Dynasty before, let's let's get a feel for how how the fighting is. This is actually the first time I've ever played against these guys. I haven't actually played these guys in custom battle or anything. Which I probably think I should have done, but hey, this is why we have a massive invasion force. Because this might be a cakewalk or it might be really, really tough. So that is why we're sending in this small, well, this actually really large army in first. We'll start the deployment. Let's just see if there's anything different that we should be aware of from what we've seen in the past. It seems like they only have levy men here, so not too worried about that. Let's send these guys in. It's also allow me to get used to some of these newer units that you don't really get to use in campaign mode. You get to use these guys in, in what is that thing called? Custom battle, a whole bunch. But Naginata, Sohei are pretty bad at 19, 17, 11 compared to 11, 10, 7. Pretty badass. And they also have Warcry, which gives them the awesome morale morale thing that they do to enemy opponents. So, our first look at the Korean Archer Militia. You can see that they are in traditional military garb of the Chosun Dynasty. You can also see that Levi Spearman or Levy Spearman, but in a different color it looks like. Or maybe... Wait, are they in black or a different color? I can't really tell. Okay, well... The Oda... The Oda is coming. We are going to destroy everything in our path. They have executed one of... The Oda sons. Now we must come back with vengeance! Vengeance in our hearts. A little bit too early. Oh wow, they got some really good range. They're already able to shoot me from over there. Interesting. Well. Let's... They've drawn first blood, now let's return fire. The Oda army strikes at this first outpost of the Chosun Dynasty. We only managed to kill eight men with 
with our first fire volley. Now the second one goes in. 158 left. I'm gonna send in... Send in the, the heavy artillery soon. 78%, 85% damage. Once these things explode, we're gonna move in. There you go. Explosion. Korean militia had no chance. 56 left. Still shooting them down. Okay. Well, we gotta move in fast. I don't even think we'll need the whole army. So I think we defeated that group. This doesn't seem to be any more resistance from their archers. Oh look, they're coming back, never mind. I thought they had given up. Alright, so I'm gonna fast forward a little bit, get these guys in. Lots of marching. Alright, done marching. Have you guys break. Now it's just pure destruction of everyone inside. It's fire and everything. My lord! A glorious victory will soon be yours! I'm gonna start climbing. This place is about to blow up. Korean Archer Militia! I guess we'll shoot these guys first. I mean, we got plenty of archers. Start climbing in soon, but first we're gonna go in and break the enemy. Normally we would just shoot them all down, but... We may as well save ourselves the time and... Just take out anyone we see as quickly as we can. And what's great is these guys are trained warriors that can probably clear the gatehouse much easier than the other guys. Alright, let's start climbing. We'll take the walls. Do the war cry, break the enemy's morale. They're fighting to the death, but boy oh boy are they afraid. Alright, let's move on in. They're holding the gate alright though. Winning combat, that's good. It's nice to see for a change that even though we're at the at the gatehouse, we're actually winning the battle. Archers are doing a great job taking out these guys. Have them shoot down those Korean archers, and I'm going to assist these men that are currently gridlocked at this gatehouse. The monks are here to end to end the Chosun garrison. Our archers are trying to take out those guys in the back. They are routing. 
and we'll have the pulse. And the battle is over. Okay, so we made short work of those guys. Shapes in the shadow, a glint of steel, the silence steals my happy light. Wow, that was actually very poetic of this Japanese death poem. Whew. Okay. So, not really a contest there, but we were just trying to feel our enemy there. So, a Korean fort converts the populace to Neo-Confucianism. So, we'll repair the forts. We will build a Buddhist temple? Let's see. Well, since it's our first settlement, Neo-Confucianism. And we also have production, farms, all these other things. Okay. Imperial roads. <clears throat> we will upgrade that, and then we will build something of use to us. Actually, for now, we'll just build a sake den. Then the remainder of our fleet will have to land here somewhere. Cavalry unit has landed. Who is this? Akechi Tosekane has landed. Toitomi. So I have to land over here. Bunaga will land here. Takabura will land here. The Daimyo will land here. Ooh, Takigawa. I'll have you come over here. Well, this, this army barely has anything, so I probably have them in somewhere close. Oh, that was not a good move. Oh,ちゃく名誉と栄光のために。母、声の至りに存じます。so we're all stuck unless we engage in combat. Here I'm going to recruit some additional medium boons as they are the cheapest of the bunch. And we also have this group. Let's march out here. Okay, so we've all just landed. Can't actually move. So it's time for us to end the turn. And so you also notice that there is something called the the Ming Dynasty, and I knew this would happen that we would get attacked instantly by this enemy naval fleet. So we're gonna retreat back into the safe North Chikuzen, and look at that Oda Chikatsu, and let's see Akechi Izu minus ten percent. Upkeep of all units under this man's command, but also minus one morale. Hmm. Sure, why not? And this man is now. Oh, yes. Kaguchi's warning. My lord, the monks speak of raging fires that cannot be quelled and believe this to be a sign sent by Kagutsuchi. They fear that the fire god is displeased with our people and beseech you to appease him. With a Chinkai Sai. Oh, of course. We will, of course, honor him. Unfriendly. Huh. We are not unfriendly. We are very, very hostile. We also still need cotton. And it looks like they can control the cotton. The cotton routes. And I need to go check the family tree. There we go. Chika Katsu is the son of Oda Nobuhide. Okay. Notice how you can see that they're brothers here, but no brothers at the moment for Nobuhide. There will be some for 
Ya bunlar ya da Hmm Looks like they moved their Guys out of there Get some more ships Naval presence is very important here I'm gonna drop this fleet off Takigawa Drop off right here. Just gonna get these fleets off. Here. And it looks like I need to get these guys out of here as well. Wait, can I just walk over here? Apparently I can. All right, I'll take it. Huh. Converts the populace to neo Confucianism. Well, why would I want to do that? Can I burn down this fort? Nope. Huh. Interesting. Guess we'll have to build a. Buddhist temple here. These guys are already in rebellion. Okay. Archer militia, let me spearmen. Okay, got our agents out. Ah, so we gotta drop off this army. Alright, let's double check that we got everyone off. And... I believe we have, except for this guy. Agent needs to be dropped off. What? You need a whole new spot just for you? Man. How spoiled. So it looks like these guys are not totally prepared for this war. That they started. So... We're just gonna quickly take this settlement. Oda Nobunaga will take this first one. Namori Mori. Defeated. Peacefully occupy. Oh, look! And there's actually gold in here. Oh, nice. Small Suwon. Korean market. Eager soil. We just upgrade everything. Because we can. Wait, this is not actually upgrading, so let's not do that. And I guess we could destroy these things. Can we actually recruit? Oh, it doesn't look like we can recruit anything around here. In fact, I don't even think they give us a garrison. I have to provide my own garrison, it looks like. Interesting. Well, we'll quickly take these two settlements. We've taken... Well, we're going to be taking all of the coastal towns first. Jinju. Peacefully occupied Jinju. Takamura. Okay, so none of these guys can move at the moment. Ah, yes. Let me drop off this army here. And I will keep three of these guys. Well, let's just say I'll keep four of these guys here. Get those guys out. Okay. Let's end our turn here. Oh man, I actually didn't know those guys were still moving. So Chosan, looks like there's an army out there as well. <laughs> yes, looks like they actually have an army massed here. We're gonna continue north. Oh, look at this! Is this cotton? Yes, it is! It is cotton. Oh, we're so close to getting it. 
Good thing Takagawa is here to take this settlement with only two units there. Okay, so lots of samurai units here, as you can see. Katana samurai, Yari samurai, and Nakinata samurai. I lost 12 men in that encounter. Peacefully occupy, and guess what? Cotton has finally been... has finally been... obtained. I'm just gonna do this really quick, and... Since we have cotton, I will now get ourselves the next level of the Master Yari Dojos. Minus two, and that. I guess I can also get the Siege Dojo. Okay, so we're at the 30 one minute mark so I would like to thank you guys all for watching and see you next time our hidden units have been discovered my lord